Hello, this is Stefan Marek from Conductor, and welcome to this Conductor hands-on in which we are going to start using our Kafka consumers. Okay, so now that we have written some data into our Kafka topics, it is time to consume the data from our Kafka topics. And this is going to be a long video because we have lots of options on how to consume data from Conductor. And Conductor a Consumer is probably the most popular feature we have out there. So you can consume in two different ways. Either you go into the topic tab and find the topic you want and click on this little uh, icon right here to open a consumer, or you can open a consumer from the top of Conductor. And again, this will open a consumer window and you can choose the consumer topic you want to uh, the topic you want to consume from. When you can open multiple consumer windows in Conductor, so it is very possible for you to have multiple, as you can see I have two, and you can switch between them using this arrow on the right-hand side to find the window you need. Okay, so let's just use one consumer and we're going to have my first topic as the topic we want to consume from. And so sometimes we're trying to be smart around the key and the value uh, deserializers, okay, but sometimes we're not too smart especially when we can't detect it. And so it is for you to specify the key deserializer and the value deserializer. And so because we have produced using strings, I'm going to keep the key and value as strings as well. Now, if you want to start a consumer in Apache Kafka, by default, it's going to start from the latest position. That means that if you click on start, it's going to read data only starting from now. And so if you're not actively producing any kind of data, you're not going to be able to read that data. So in Kafka and the CLI and Conductor, you can say where you want to consume from. And so you want to consume from either time-based or offset-based. So all these options are very, very popular with our customers and our users. But right now, let's keep it simple. And we're going to read from the beginning of the topic. So this is called from earliest. And we're going to read from earliest until forever. So we can say how many messages we want to read and so on. And we can set up a filter. So let's see this later on. But so we're going to read from the beginning and I'm going to click on start. And so this is showing me all the data in my Kafka topic. So this is great. We can also view. So this is a message by message view. And if we click on one specific message and click on details, we're going to get information. So if we take this one, for example, click on details, we're going to get information around the data. So the key is null and the message is hello world. We get some information around the header, so the app name is Conductor, as well as some metadata around the message itself. So it's sent to my first topic. Here is the partition number one. This is offset number one. We have some information around the timestamp and the timestamp type, as well as the key size and the value size. If we really like this message, we could click on this to copy this to a producer template, or we can copy this message and save it as, and you can save it as a text file or a JSON file. Okay. So back into our consumer, I'm going to close this window. And so now let me show you another thing. So we can show partitions on the left-hand side, and this is going to show how far we have consumed into every partition. So partition zero, we have consumed 10, uh, 17 offsets, partition one, one offset, and partition two, nine offsets. And so this window, when you have a big, big topic, is becoming very helpful to know how far you are into your consumption. So I'm going to stop this. And as you can see here, we can switch between this view and the tabular view. So the tabular view, we get a table which shows you the partition number, the offset number, the timestamp, the key, and the value, as well as some headers if we have headers. It is possible for you to export data in Conductor. So if you wanted to export data from this consumer and have the visible rows as a JSON, it is possible for you to do so. And then you would go ahead and save this as a JSON document and you'd be good to go. You can also export it as a CSV if that's what you like. Okay, so in terms of options of how Conductor can consume data, so let's read now from the latest offsets. So we click on start, and as you can see, we are reading from the latest offsets. And so something you can do is run a consumer on the side of a producer. So if we have this, and we're going to send data to my first topic with the value tests, and click on send, as you can see, as soon as I've sent the data from the producer, it went into my topic on partition zero offset 18, and it appeared in my consumer. So this is quite handy. So you can test sending a lot of data. And as you can see, as you send data, the data is going to happen to be on the right-hand side for my consumer. So 
quite handy, and this demonstrates the fact that Kafka is real-time. If I click on send, again, the data is appearing very, very, very quickly in my consumer. So all of this is to show you that when you learn Apache Kafka, you can produce data into a topic, it will get offset partitions, and then the consumer itself is going to be reading from these partitions and deconstruct the message on the right-hand side. So we show the power of serializers and then the power of deserializers on the right-hand side. So something you can do in Conductor is that you can start reading from wherever you want. So for example, you can start reading from the last hour, or today, or yesterday, or a very specific date, if you wanted to say a date time of when you want to consume the data from. You can also set from the beginning, so all the data. You can set up how many messages you want to consume. So maybe you want to consume 10 messages in total, just to get a sample. Or maybe you want to get two messages per partitions. And then if you start it, then the only data you're going to get is two messages per partitions. So all these filters are very, very difficult to implement using the Kafka CLI. But within Conductor, we have as many dialogues as possible to make sure that we make things easy for you. You can also specify the max size or the max size per partition to see how many bytes you want to consume from your Kafka topics. Okay? Or you can choose to consume from a specific timestamp. So this one, until a specific timestamp. So all these options hopefully are going to be very helpful for you. Another thing you can do is, so we're going to consume from the beginning, we can set up a filter. So for example, we can say that we want the data to contain, for example, for the value, the world word. And so if we do so, then only the hello words are going to appear in my consumer, which is great. We can set up a filter for key, for value, and for headers. But you can set up filters for JSON if you have JSON data, and we'll be showing you how to do those when we start dealing with Avro as well, okay? And finally, another option to start from is to start based on the consumer group offsets or last minus X offsets, so we want to read the last 10 offsets of each partition or from a specific offset as well. So hopefully all these options will help you and all these filters as well uh, will help you have a very powerful consumer and help you in your Kafka development pattern. So that's it for this lecture. I hope you liked it. And congratulations on first producing data to Kafka and reading it from Kafka. This is a big step in your learning journey. And I will see you in the next lecture.